Good morning, guys. Happy Tuesday to you guys. How are y'all doing today? I watch you as you dry. Do you know I'm looking? And I can't help but smile. Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite. You see what I have in my hand? It is a clover. Why you might ask? Because it's lower 50s here today. All week, lower 50s. So you guys, fall is hitting us here in this part of North Carolina, which is the mountain. fruits and vegetables in your house if you don't get to the other fat that you would like. So all I'm going to do with the new ball rules, they say you don't have to sterilize these right here, but I just throw them in the dishwasher. You're my best friend. Didn't care about the rules, good on the weekends. I'll be in fools, drifting the deep space. So brave and so stupid, just like the movies. How it's gonna stay in the fight with you. Just thinking we would do this until we couldn't do it. Each and every high, every night with you. You and me so clueless. We were just broken shy. With the remainder strawberries that I didn't dehydrate, I'm now gonna make strawberry jelly or jam. I'm using four cups of sugar, marina sugar, with the one box of pectin, mixed it together. 
Now I'm just cutting into the core, pulling out the stem and slicing the, I about to say tomatoes, the strawberries and placing them into the bowl. strawberries up right here and while this is a low sugar you still using sugar I used um, four cups of sugar and then I used that one box of pectin now you can use the lower amount of uh, sugar but you need the pink box of pectin to use with it and then also use your ball can book to help you um, get through that whole thing. So, since I can't find my masher, I'm going to try something I've never done before. And the reason I'm making these is because you saw me dehydrate um, strawberries. I only did that one row of strawberries. And I said, well, I'm running low on uh, jam, jelly. So, I'm going to take the rest of these strawberries and make that with it. I'm supposed to be out in the garden. So I'm going to try to use my food processor. Bear with me. And guys, what you're going to need for this recipe is, of course, strawberries. You're going to need sugar. I use marina sugar. And today I'm using the pectin box, the one box. And on the back of it, it'll tell you how much sugar you need for whatever you're doing. So... The last time I did strawberries, I used, I think, six or eight cups of sugar. So I am lowering the sugar in this because I don't want it to be as sweet. You're also going to need your jar lifter. Why do I have two jar lifters out here? And you're also going to need your funnel and your measurer, you're going to need some lemon juice. I'm going to use two tablespoons only because I'm doing not a big batch. Otherwise, I would use four. And, of course, your jars. So, here is me trying to mash the strawberries up some by using my food processor. Hope this works. I tried to use a spoon, y'all. I get the spoon. So, you just want to mash these up and then put them in a pot and pour your sugar and your pectin over it. So, what I'm going to do is I think I'm going to. I can get a little bit more here. I'm going to pulse this. it up. I've only used this one time, you guys, so bear with me. Alright, now we're working. So, it has chop, it has dough, because you can do dough in here. So, I'm going to do chop. But, yeah, there we go. Hey, it's working. It's working, y'all. It's working. Thank you. 
process and take care of the work. because my jalapenos keep putting out, y'all, and I keep having to can jalapenos. I got another batch I got to can probably later on today. I'm not recording that, but let's go to the stove. Okay, guys, so we have it now on the stove. I have my uh, water bath canner right here warming up. I have my jars are actually in my dishwasher. Usually I put them in here but I needed to wash them. So they are actually hot as if they were in here. So you want hot jars, hot food going into hot jars. If you're doing cold, then vice versa. So we're gonna bring this up to a boil. Still hadn't gotten there yet, but it smells so good. I'm gonna adjust my fire. And you don't want to walk away from your pot. You want to keep stirring it. Now, if you want to take a little step back, do something, fine. But stay in the kitchen because you have to, especially once it starts boiling, you want to keep stirring it, okay? And keep stirring it. And that's going to break down these strawberries that might not have got, you know, chopped up in the food processor because I didn't use the masher so I really like using that food processor I probably should have let them go a little bit longer for some of them but they'll be just fine it'll just be bits of strawberry in the jars and I really wish I had my small jars you guys but I do not but it's okay and I just realized my husband didn't take his pears he bought pears yesterday from Sam's Club to take on the road with him. Well, he didn't take them and I don't want them to go bad. So now I'm probably gonna have to can <laughs> the 
those pears. I did not plan to can pears. I probably need some because my youngest child likes to eat a lot of pears. We love pears. We love applesauce. Um, that's my next thing. I have to go and go to an orchard. My mother-in-law was sending me a bunch of different orchards because we both need to go and pick or either let them pick uh, apples so that we can get those canned up jars of what she made in August. She made muscadine, muscadine jelly, or jam rather, and she made a peach preserve. And this is peach and muscadine together. So I'm looking forward to seeing what that tastes like. I've not tasted a muscadine jam or jelly before. We're going to let that come to a boil and we'll be right back. Okay, so my strawberries are now boiling. So I'm just going to keep stirring it. But I'm going to set my timer and just my heat. I'm going to set my time for 20 minutes. And that whole 20 minutes, I'm going to be stirring this because it is going to continue to boil. And it's going to foam up. And you don't want to walk away because if you're not stirring, that foam is going to rise in your pot and you don't want to have to clean that up. these berries that are still a little whole in here, which I don't mind that being in my jam. I honestly don't. Um, but I want it to be cooked down some. Y'all, this is a very... this. I think this was the first thing I ever canned. And... I can't tell you how nervous I was to can that. I will link that <laughs> video in the description box or in the comments so you guys can see it. But that was my first time doing it. And I did it exactly step by step with Homestead Heart, what she had um, said about, you don't need pectin, just use two apples. I was worried about that, but it turned out so good, you guys. And I've been waiting to run down on my strawberries so that I can do this again. Um, it just so happened I don't, I did not have any of the apples and I did not want to go to the store. And I did have my pectin because I try to buy pectin when I see it. Um, I said, you know what? I'm not going to freeze these strawberries. I want to go ahead and make my jam. I'm just going to make it with less sugar than I did the first time um, because I want to see if I can actually just taste the strawberries itself and not just taste a lot of sugar. And plus I, I have to lower my sugar intake. I know it probably don't look like I've lost weight, you guys, but I can see it. And the scale showed it when I went to the doctor and I was like, he was like 191. And I said, wow, I'm about to get out of the 90s? So I will be back when this is about, when the time is about down to maybe three minutes. Guess what? I did have half pint jars. So I'm going to put these in half pint jars because I really didn't want to use my um, pint jars. Cause I'm gonna use those for my pears and some other things. So the timer just went off for the 20 minutes. So what I'm gonna do is turn this eye off. I'm gonna stir it a little bit. Now 
Now I'm going to reset my timer for five minutes with the eye turn off. Because we want it to keep cooking, but we don't want that fire underneath it. This is what it looks like. I don't know if you can see down in my pot, but I still have some uh, bits of berry right here, and that's fine. It's still gonna cook, because you're gonna cook these in the um, water bath canner. To, the book says for pints to do 10 minutes and for quarts to do 15 minutes, but you can do 15 with um, pints as well, but I'm using a half pint. I'm gonna do 10 minutes. I think that'll be good enough. And just let my timer, let me know when it's time to can it up. I'm gonna get my jars out. I have my jars right here. Okay, so I have my lids back here. Um, getting hot well they're already hot and now we have our strawberry and it's thickened up it will cook down like when i started it was up here and now it's down here so uh, i would have had more strawberries to make this with had i not dehydrated some of them um if you're on a budget, I mean, just split your stuff up. If you want to dehydrate it, just do a little bit of that and a little bit of this and a little bit of something else and it all work out. So I have my funnel that I'm about to use. I also have my magnetic wand. I'm gonna sit in here. And I have my debubbler and spacer. Now this right here can come with your um, kit if you buy the kit, you can get this debubbler with it. Now, I see Walmart does sell these separately. They also sell the funnel separately as well. Um, these have the numbers on it. Not sure if you can make it out. Did you see that one inch, two inch, three inch? So you see that? Those are your head spaces. So we're doing a half inch head space on here. Let's move our vinegar aside. We don't need that until we're done filling the jars. We'll bring them over some. And be careful because they are hot. Don't think because I'm touching them. They ain't hot, y'all. They hot. So we're going to go down so y'all can see. And I might not need all of these jars. Get that strawberry off of there. Jars are so hot where I can't touch it, but they are hot. Let's see. And if you happen to go over that half inch head space, oh, yeah, that is hot. <laughs> Super hot. Then you can just take away from it. So look at what I have. Oh, I need to put a little more in here. I'm gonna have to debubble to straight some more of this with this one. I 
Okay, just enough to try to get them where they need to be. So it, it kind of worked out just fine. I don't stress about, oh, I didn't have enough berries. Listen, this is two, three, four, five, six jars that I wasn't even expecting to have today. So when I tell you, when I tell you that's a good thing, that's that's a blessing. Take whatever blessings you can get, y'all. Take a quick look because it's too hot for me to, my God, what were you thinking, girl? Let me show you. Okay, so look at that. Isn't that pretty? And so easy to do. So, so easy to do. You know when it's done, it's going to look like that. Nice and thick. Oh my gosh. Where's my debubbler? Let's get this debubbled. Let's get this debubbled. And I'm just going to go in and swish it around. That's all. Jars are hot. I won't be handling with my hand now. Let me air pockets out of there. Okay, so this is when we move these jars because I'm probably going to end up filling these jars with water just so that it's a full canner um, you're gonna take your vinegar bring it out because you don't want vinegar in your jam oh jam time and jam for me yeah mm, mm. okay so you're gonna take your jar like this Lord let me put it down I hope you can see it and then you're just gonna wipe around it the ridges of it and on top you could do it at the same time Gosh, this is hard. and see this jar here has some put this one over here because i'm done with it it has jelly or jam on it so you're just getting it off because you want your seal to be good you don't want it compromised y'all while y'all out there buying cleaning sprays and stuff vinegar is a great cleaner so if you can buy the big jugs of the vinegar mix them up in your spray bottle you have a cleaner right there if you don't have the other cleaners that you use with the fragrances and stuff like that okay we good we good we good so you're going to use your magnetic wand if you have one and place your lids on top of the jar when you're boiling not boiling when you put your lids in the hot water in the water for it to get hot i can't talk today they're saying you don't have to do that now but i still do it because that's how I was taught to do it. And who you say taught me? Homestead Heart taught me, okay? And I watch other channels too, but that was the main one that I watched because I just felt way more comfortable with how she was doing things and talking you through the process. So I tried to do similar to her and explain things, but I can't explain everything like that woman explain everything, so. Put your lid, your rings on, your bands, fingertip tight. Don't be, don't take your whole hand and do it. Just use your fingers like that. Whew. Can't hold the jar anyway, so hmm, you want to hurt yourself, go right ahead. One more after this one. Oh, 
the wrong one. No. Oh my god. Okay guys, so that part is done. I'm gonna move this pot out of my way. Come with me to the canner. Come with me, Phil Mirror. Can you handle the heat? Look at that. I don't know if that's gonna be my thumbnail or not though, y'all. So we're not gonna have enough to fill this canner. So we're gonna put some jars with water in here. All the ones. Jeez, don't do it. I'm so clumsy, it makes no sense. So I'm gonna put some water in these and some other jars. Okay guys, so I had to back y'all up out my face. Y'all was too close, okay? So, you know it's COVID out here, right? So, <laughs> so I, what I did was, let me show you, so I'll put this in here hard. Y'all saw me put the little jars of water in here. I also have this pint size in here with the half pints because that fills up that space. And that's just going to keep them from turning over, falling over, laying on their side while they're in there. Um, it's no use for the water, or the, unless I wanted to do sterile water, but I just did sterile water, water when I can't some um, jalapenos. And I still have that right here in jars um, to go on my shelf as well. I'm going to lower these in. And you want to make sure that the water is covering your lids. Now, the water is, so as you can see, the water is covering all of my half pint jars. But for the pint jar, it's not quite over there. So I'm gonna add a little bit of hot water to this pot just to cover that one. Because whenever you're water bath canning, you want, whether it's pints or half pints or quarts, you want to have at least an inch of water over the top of your jars. Okay, so we have that here. We're gonna put our lid on. Turn our eye all the way up to high. Bring this to a rolling boil. Once we turn water off. Can we run up that water bill, child? Uh, once this canner comes up to a rolling boil, then I will set my timer for 15 minutes. Well, I'm gonna do 10 minutes. I will set my timer for 10 minutes, but you can do 15 per your ball book says you can. So, once this comes to a rolling boil, I wanna show you what that looks like, then we'll set the timer. And y'all, we, we'll have us some strawberry jam. I almost forgot. This is my vinegar that I just cleaned my jars with. I'm just gonna add the remainder to the pot. You always wanna do that to hopefully keep your jars pretty. So y'all, look at this. Look at that. It has bits of jelly in it. Thick, and it looks like this is ready, okay? Now I'm gonna go wash my hands. Okay, guys, so hands have been washed. My phone has been sanitized because it fell. And we are at a rolling oil. So we are going to set our timer for 10 minutes. Because it might have started boiling when I was outside. So we're going to do 10 minutes. Cover it up. 
Once that 10 minute timer goes off, I will turn the heat off from under the pot. And I'm gonna let it sit for at least five to 10 minutes before I take it out of my canner and place it over here. So we'll come back when the timer goes off. All right, so the timer has gone off. We're gonna turn our eye off. Now we're gonna set, I'm gonna set my timer for five minutes. And then well, I'm gonna take the lid off. It's gonna help it cool down too. So my timer is set for five minutes. And when that hits, then I'll take them out and we'll see what we have. Okay guys, we are ready. Up, God dog it. Oh, they pinging already. That is what you want to hear. Did y'all hear that? Oh my gosh, they're sealing already. Ooh, ooh. What? I don't think I've ever had them seal that fast. So don't really do anything to them. Let them cool down. They're gonna sit out on this shelf, well, on this counter for 18 to 24 hours until they, are, until they are cool enough for me to handle. And I will then take my rings off. You don't wanna leave your rings on when you're putting these in your long-term prepper pantry. One of these, however, is gonna go in my refrigerator, okay? It's gonna go in my refrigerator if you don't understand what I said. I'm going to take the rings off. I'm going to clean up the jars and the top with, oh, vinegar. And then I'm going to label them. And when you're labeling them, make sure you put what it is and the date that you did it. And um, because sometimes I forget. And when I come back, I go, what date did I do these? You know, not in my pantry, but they're still on my counter. So I have to go back. Luckily, I record, so I can go back and see exactly what date that I did. So, these are done, you guys. These are done. Let me give you a close-up shot of them. Oh, it pinged right before I turned the camera back on. So, I know I heard three pings. That means I got three more pings to go. But I'm not going to do anything to them, you guys. Absolutely beautiful. You can see in... I think it was in this one, it might be the glare, but you can see bits of strawberries in them. And that's what I want when I'm spreading them with, you know, on my toast or whatever I'm spreading it on, my bagel. Um, I have so many of these things, canned jalapenos. Y'all, I just picked a whole bunch more. I'm so jalapenoed out okay i have pickled them i have turned them into poppers i pickled them again and now this is my fourth round that i'm going to be pickling my jalapenos with these right here banana peppers i'm going to do that real quick um very simple i don't know if i'll record it or not i just want to get out of this kitchen but because i got to run to the store grab some more pears 
and canned pears tonight because tomorrow I have to get in my garden. I just have to do it. It feels like you don't have enough time in the day. You get up early and you still don't have enough time in the day. And plus, I got to go to Lowe's and get my new rabbits a towel if i don't have one in my garage so y'all take care i hope that you do this recipe i hope that you do any canning recipe honestly and put more food on your shelf because inflation they just got through talking about it it is continuing to go up food inflation is not going down anytime soon and if we have the railroad i guess you call it a strike where they're not going to go in then guess what? Shortages, shortages, shortages. I'll probably do a video on that though. So y'all take care. Have a blessed day. And I will see y'all in the next video. Pray, plan, and prep. Love yourself so you can go out and spread God's love. Peace, love, and light. Thank you so much for being here on Tommy's Carolina Homestead.